here. Oh man, I'm excited. And plus, who who doesn't like saving money, right? Pinching some pennies. So let's give this guy a shot and see how it. Good morning, everyone. There we are. Okay, not. I am not talking about the Asics Nova Blast today. I'm talking about a new shoe with a similar name, the Asics Road Blast. There it is. Oh, in that dark blue colorway. So here's the deal. Many of you probably saw all over YouTube. I think I saw in 20 different YouTube channels people reviewing the Asics Nova Blast. It took the interwebs by storm because I think it's a great shoe. Well, here we go, a shoe, the Road Blast, that is $40 cheaper than the Nova Blast and a much lower a profile with respect to the stack height because I did see some reports that people did not like how the Nova Blast felt a little unstable, meaning it was just a little too high off the ground for them. So this is lower to the ground, $40 cheaper, Asics Road Blast, first impression run, not my full review after 50 miles. So let's lace up, give it a shot here. Oh man, I'm excited. And plus, who, who doesn't like saving money, right? Pinching some pennies. So let's give this guy a shot and see how it does. Oh, I think what I'm most intrigued about so far, just pulling it out of the box, is this decoupled groove on the on the outsole has uh, shows the exposed basically the exposed foam inside the shoe anyway very excited to analyze this as we lace up here and get going all right come on now everybody into the studio first impressions of the asics road blast all right there it is again forty dollars forty am i doing the math right 130 minus 90 forty dollars cheaper than there it is the jacquard um upper based nova blast there it is oh love this shoe but forty dollars is pretty significant for the price drop from the nova to the road blast here we go first impressions first run in the streets of denver today 10 miles about 750 a mile striving to keep the run in that steezy ish rain and managed to do so pretty well uh so 750 a mile and let's dive into this midsole first of all 10 oh 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe so on the higher end uh for the daily trainer rotation as far as the drop in the shoe 24 millimeter uh stack height in the heel 14 millimeter in the forefoot so pretty pretty lean there through the forefoot i'm going to put this into the low category for stack height in the road blast looking at the weight for men's size nine we're looking at 8.7 ounces i couldn't find a weight for women's size eight do apologize on that and there it is on your screen in my size and actually let's just do it right now so there it is in the there's the road blast on your screen right now and there's the nova blast so you see the difference there in weight between the nova and the road now, by the end of the vlog, I will do more comparisons with the Nova Blast, but for now, we're going to focus and hone in on the Road Blast. Let's dive into the upper first. It's a very classical knit upper, like what I would expect to see almost like two or three years ago, like no bells and whistles, very minimal overlay on top of the uh, the knit upper, a little bit of overlay. Obviously, they have their logo there on the side, which I like. Uh, it's just a nice looking blue, uh, light blue on top of that dark blue. But this, there is some overlay. You can't even really see it unless you look real close uh, around the eyelet chain to help reinforce the eye the eyelet chain the holes that you actually put the laces through and then very comfortable collar and i can't resist i can't resist the biggest issue in the nova blast remember were the nasty blisters that i got this was like 
a top of the line shoe for me this past uh, spring 2020, but I got some really bad blisters right here at the top of the uh, heel tab. And I can already tell that the heel tab between the Nova Blast and the Road Blast, this heel tab is not nearly as pronounced which I think this heel tab really was just digging into my Achilles tendon, which gave me blisters on both, both, uh, both feet. So that was not good. And so far after my first impression run in the road blast, absolutely no, like I don't feel any hot spot or any issues with this heel tab. So that's good, very comfortable. I'm gonna say approaching plush through the collar as far as comfort goes in the upper and a pretty stout, uh, let's just do the test here. A pretty stout heel counter. You know, it's got a little bit of give there, but I didn't feel any slipping at all as my heel was locked down into the pocket in the back of the road blast. I almost forgot one last point on the upper. The knit upper is gender specific for the men and the women. I guess it's um, how they actually weave the knit together um, between the men and the women our toes, I guess, you know, based on ASICS research, I guess, you know, our toes are splaying out differently between men and women. And so therefore, how they knit this upper together is going to flex differently depending on the men's version and the ladies version, just so you know. So I thought that was really interesting. Again, I'm not sure if I've ever heard of that before. I don't think I have where the knit on the top of a running shoe is actually sewn differently for men and women. So pretty cool. Just keep that in mind if you're a lady out there that uh, they are trying to really refine uh, the shoe for your foot and more specific specifically for how your toes splay, meaning spread out inside this shoe. Now moving on to the midsole. Very interesting here. So we've got this uh, Flight Foam Blast midsole. It's the white and blue here that you can see that my finger's running over right now. But in addition, this Amplifoam, which is this exposed uh, here through the heel. I don't know if you can see it there, but it like, I tell you what, very soft, very comfortable. Um, I will get to the ride here in one second when I talk about comfort, but overall I'm, um, I'm impressed with how, despite having a lower stack height, how the Flight Foam plus the Amplifoam performed today on my first impression run. So overall, a decent ride there through the midsole and onto that outsole, the bottom of the Road Blast. You can see all of the rubber there and frankly, I don't think it's the Ahar rubber the ASICS high abrasion rubber. I couldn't find any information online. Plus, uh, I don't see, and usually they write it on the actual rubber AHAR somewhere and I'm not seeing any identification in that regard, but bottom line, there is a lot of rubber there on the bottom of the outsole and also a little bit, um, so they have a decoupled groove here. In fact, are you picking up on this trend? It was the same case with the Pegasus 37 from, what was it, yesterday? In my full review of the Nike Peg 37, decoupled grooves I'm noticing are starting to show up more and more in running shoe trends. So keep an eye out as you're in running shoe stores, trying out running shoes. Um, is the shoe you're testing, does it have a decoupled groove, meaning uh, a little a little canyon or a little, a little uh, indent, a groove, especially through the heel there. So anyway, it is here in the Road Blast as well. And then a pronounced I'm gonna call it a bubble under the forefoot. It feels a little bit like a bubble. Um, again, it just kind of sits right there under your forefoot and I need to do a little more testing before I give my full opinion on how this quote unquote bubble is doing underneath the forefoot. Hey, it's got some give to it, that is for sure. For fit, went true to size, no issues with fit as far as the length of the shoe, but a little, snug through the toe box ever so slightly okay just keep it you know i didn't mind it but if you again if you like a little more room in your toe box just bear that in mind it felt a little snug there through the toe box and then as far as comfort goes again decent through the collar i'm not going to say incredibly comfortable through the eyelet chain and the toe box pretty basic upper uh toward the front of the shoe and then the ride of the shoe here we go i was not as impressed as the Nova Blast. All right, I'll just put it out there right now. Now, listen, a ton more stack height. I think eight millimeters more stack height midsole foam in the Nova Blast compared to the Road Blast. So it's not gonna be as soft 
or as bouncy. That was the really the word that bounced out, <laughs> that, bounced, <laughs> that jumped out at me when I was reviewing the, uh, the Nova Blast. So um, a, a good ride, but definitely not as bouncy or as, um, I'll just say even as fun to run in compared to the Nova Blast. Overall decent though, as far as the comfort, considering that the weight of the shoe has dropped. Now for my positive and drawback of the Road Blast, positive is the weight. I'm very pleased, okay? Even considering the drawback, all this, okay, this, I think there's too much outsole rubber, everybody. It's almost a little too firm, maybe not as forgiving. Hold on, let me just see here. It doesn't feel, maybe it's the exact same rubber, but frankly, it doesn't feel quite as forgiving as the Nova Blast outsole rubber. So that is my drawback. It just, I think there's too much outsole rubber here. I think they could drop the weight of the shoe, my positive of the shoe, even more. Maybe by a quarter of an ounce or a half an ounce. I'm not sure if they just shaved off a little bit of this outsole rubber. But of course, durability prediction because Asics put so much outsole rubber onto this shoe. That means, that means the durability should go up. So I'm gonna put it in the 400 plus category for the durability prediction in the Road Blast. How will I use the Road Blast moving forward and who is this shoe best for? Of course, keep it in mind, just my first impression run. I think this shoe falls into the Right, in the, right between daily trainer and easy day. Usually for easy day, I prefer a little more stack height just for a little more forgiveness, just to make sure my legs are really being uh, pampered and babied on my easy days. I like, I like easy days to be ridiculously easy, as you well know. Um, so, but it also is light enough that I feel like it could go a little further past an easy day, like eight miles, 10 miles, maybe 12 miles. And it's just um, not quite, I like my tempo day shoes to be in my size to be closer to seven ounces all right even out even under seven ounces is ideal so it's just a little heavy for a tempo day shoe for me so that's where the shoes falling in the category for me and who is this shoe best for here we go i would say somebody that really appreciates saving money on a brand new shoe and let's just dive into it right now saving money on a brand new shoe and ground contact feel under the forefoot, 14 millimeter stack height. Uh, I, I enjoyed it today actually, getting up on my toes, striking the forefoot, and by the end of 10 miles, my legs, like my, my forefoot was not feeling tired. Now, if I took this shoe to 20 miles, I do suspect that that 14 millimeter stack height just wouldn't be enough for a long run shoe, you know, let's say a 20 miler like I did yesterday. So um, price point, here we go, $90. And here's what's exciting, everybody. Do, oh, let's just pull it off. All right, so here's a Skechers Razor 3 from, oh boy, is this 2018, I do believe. Here's what's crazy. How hard was it to find a running shoe brand new for under $100 in 2019? I don't remember, now listen, I realize the coronavirus has dropped running shoe prices tremendously across the board, but I'm very, very excited that ASICS has dropped a brand new running shoe for under $100. And I'm just wondering if the word is getting out that there's other running shoe companies on the marketplace like Skechers that are producing and selling running shoes for right around that $100 mark. Very exciting. And yes, compared to the Nova Blast, like this is a fun shoe. Now, I don't know if I'll ever be able to run in it uh, a lot because of the blister issue, but for $40 cheaper, I think you're looking at a decent second option. I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the win. Now this is not a full running shoe battle, but I'm gonna give the win to the Nova Blast as far as comfort and performance. Even this, even though this shoe is uh, heavier than the Road Blast, it has definitely more spring to it, more energy return. Return again, back to that bouncier ride. But ninety dollars is ninety dollars. So if you like saving money, Road Blast might be a great option for you. And thus far. I've only seen the shoe available from ASICS.com, just so you know. And there you have it, first impressions in the books, ASICS Road Blast, all right, full review in, well, 40 miles from now, 40 miles. I do believe we'll get to 50 miles in this Road Blast, especially as the volume of training continues to go up and up. All right, question of the day has nothing to do with running, but if you care to share, question of the day, what are your plans for the weekend, huh? What are you doing? Okay, actually, craziness. NASCAR 
and Bundesliga, am I saying that right? The German Soccer League are opening up this weekend. Like that is, I, I, do, I don't watch either of those sports, but like it's a little glimmer of hope that there's better days ahead. So NASCAR, like I don't watch, I don't watch NASCAR and Bundesliga. I don't watch, I don't, I really don't watch that much soccer at all, but there it's happening. It's opening up this. So anyway, let us know your weekend plans. Maybe you're going for a bike ride or you're going to make sushi or you're going to may uh, knit knit a sweater whatever you're going to do let us know down in the comments have a great weekend thanks for being here thanks for watching onward and upward oh we're going to make it through together all right we're going to toss it back of course to the nova blast full review asics nova blast full review right there i think it actually might have been mixed into some other full reviews as well but if you care to learn more about the asics nova blast click right there all right seek beauty work hard and love each other See you tomorrow. <laughs> Had a hiccup.